My daddy, as I said, was in the Chevrolet garage. And this would have been about 1930, maybe 31. Automobiles were fairly new at that time, and no one had one. And he'd try to sell these old farmers a car. Well, they didn't need a car. They had their horse or their mule or something to ride. You know, they didn't need a car. And uh, if anyone bought one, then he had to teach them to drive. Of course, of course they didn't know how to drive. But Dr. Reeves, uh, the new Chevrolets came in one year and, and uh, Daddy approached Dr. Eves and said, let me sell you one of these new Chevrolets. Dr. Eves said, well, he talked long and slow and turned his words out that way. And he said, well, I tell you, I wouldn't have one of them little old Chevrolets. He says, I drive a Ford. And he'd tell the office tales that there was I think he said he'd worn out 15 cars, innumerable horses and mules, had, had delivered over 3,000 babies and pulled a salt barrel full of teeth. Now, I can remember that much. But anyway, he said, I like to drive a Ford because he said, they'll get up and go. Said, they called me one day to come up the river about eight miles up the river. Said they called me to come quick when a hair burst his boys had fallen off of the bar. Says I jumped up, rushed out, jumped in my little Ford and got up there before he hit the ground. 